Howdy folks from the Historic Arkansas Museum, I'm Casey Marshall and we're here working on a couple of different things. We have a full shop. The sun came out, it's supposed to be in the 80s today, it's a beautiful day and we are full. So today the funny projects I'm working on are eye pins. So what we're doing is yesterday we had the very fortunate ability to take a 18th or 19th century surveying class from one of our early reenactors, uh, Tim Richardson. He taught surveying to the whole education staff and we teach surveying regularly as a field trip. Well, as an export, he taught us a few things we didn't know. We've been using wooden pens, which was a colonial practice, and by the time we get to the time of Little Rock and our block here at the museum, they were using metal pens. Well, metal pens, metal flags, that's something we can easily make here at the forge, and so we needed a set. Set consists of 11 hooks plus a, 11 pins plus a hook to put them on, so today I've been working on getting 11 of these made out. So I leave a few of them in the fire. I'm using a bending jig is what I'm doing is I just stick it in the tongs, wrap one around, make it a little bit more straight. And that's not very round so I can begin to work on it here. If it starts to get a little too flat on one side, use the smaller horn over here to tap it around. This does not take long. It's been relatively easy. If you tuned into last week's video, you remember I said we have a TV crew coming in here in about 20 minutes to do an interview, and so I wasn't sure we were going to get to do our live today. So I'm very excited to be able to do it just a little bit early. Now, I'm going to keep working on these because i got three left. That's all it is once they're all made. I can put a point on each end so you can stick them in the ground. We've got a set. Next thing i got to work on is the spring slash hook that they all hang on. But I'm going to keep working on that and turn it over to the rest of the guys for their show and tell. And I'll probably come run the camera so Lynn can talk to you for a minute. So You'll do a better job at the camera, I'm sure. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right, Mr. Okay. Tim, what do we, or Mr. Lynn, what do we got? Okay, let's start over here. Shane uh, has got some really, really nice uh, utility knives. And actually, mm -hmm. they're, the uh, sheath is just great. I mean, it snaps in there, good retention. This is another one of his uh, fighter survival knives, and he's got some in progress here. And it looks like John has got another Kerrigan underway with brass. Is that brass, John? He can't hear me out there. <laughs> He's out. That's brass. He said yes. He said yes. All right. Okay. But it's just a little switch up. But he's got his name on it. I want to emphasize that John puts his name on his work because we don't want any question about whether or not they're counterfeit or reproduction. They're reproduction. Now, that's, I see some interesting things going on with the scale that I'm going to ask about, too. But I don't know yet. Okay, here's one of my x-rays in progress. This is one that also in progress. The sheath is made. Uh, this this is Damascus. I just got some markings on it where I cut the grooves. And a small x-ray. Mm -hmm. Casey's got a Damascus blade in progress. If and you follow our show and tell a couple weeks ago, this looked much like that. A little different, but much like that. Yeah, this will be bigger when it's when it's all drawn out and forged again. Mm -hmm. And here's a pretty one from John. This is a historic pattern piece from, say, the uh, fur trade era. Uh, and he's using copper and, and some really interesting uh, engraving and just really neat stuff that he's doing. He's aging it, but it, again, his mark is on it. I emphasize that because he's used, he's uh, he's making period. He purposely style. antiques his pieces. Yeah, period style pieces. Now this is a beautiful piece right here. It's very light, mm. very proportionate, very tasteful the way it's done. And this is Kevin Burgess's journeyman bladesmith performance test knife. And we're gonna we're about to take that test here in a little bit. In case he gets back from his TV interview, uh, but uh, it's, I want to show something. He's got really good distal taper. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's got nice geometry on the edge. 
his handle is comfortable, it's long enough, and it's shaped very, very nicely. So this knife would be pretty usable, uh, and, you know, otherwise, uh, not just for a test knife. Yeah. But we're going to we're gonna put it to the test. We're going to put happens. it through its paces. And then Peter brought some uh, Ainu, I believe the Ainu knives, and he, he's making a, uh, he, he's using a piece of moose antler, but he made the collar for that that was missing on this particular piece. This is old, very old. The knife is period correct. Uh, so he's going to, he's basically restoring an antique set, mm -hmm. knife and sheath. So that's kind of what we got going today. We have a lot going today, a lot. Uh, between the Kevin's test and everybody's show and tell items, we're just having a blast. So I hope y'all get to to uh, get the feeling that that we we our Tuesdays are very exciting. These show mm -hmm. and tells are just amazing. They're just amazing. Uh, so we're glad you was able to be here. So Casey's going to carry on with his interview, and we're going to continue on. We're going to dig out a few more things. To, share with each other and hear, mm -hmm. you know, reflect our thoughts back and forth and just enjoy the day. So if y'all, I hope y'all get the chance to, to watch, not just watch this, but keep up with some of these projects we're on. We're also uh, going to work on a fireplace set. Mm -hmm. Talked about that a little bit last week. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I'm researching is how to make the broom. <laughs> yes. How to integrate yes. the broom bristles with the, the iron mm -hmm. handle. So mm -hmm. those are the kind of things that I'm kind of looking for. If anybody has any thoughts, any videos, or any information on how to do that, please share it. Absolutely. Because we need we need that uh, documentation, that research material. We need to know how. So any, thank you all for being here. For everybody at Blacksmith Shop, I'm Lynn Ray. For Casey Marshall, we're glad you all were with us. See you next week.